Right, you ready? Well, uh, yes, mate. What's up, young people? How are we doing? Welcome back to another video. It's everyone's favourite duo. We can do that because we're housemates. We can hang out because we live together. We have to hang out. Well, yeah, that is true, <laughs> I can't though. get away from it. When I was 19 years old, I drove to the airport to pick up my American girlfriend. When I got there, to my surprise, Kate Thornton, she was the original X Factor host. So she was big time. And so when she came up to me and said, do you mind if we film you for a new Sky One show called Hello Goodbye, you'll see in this video how nervous <laughs> I was. I literally gave her nothing. She's asking me all these questions and I'm just going, yeah. The content is gold, even if the quality isn't. Without further ado, I present to you Hello Goodbye featuring 19 year old Ben in all its glory. Well, one person welcomes home someone they've known all their life, 19 year old Ben is at the beginning of a complicated new relationship. You look like you're excited. I am very excited. You're like yeah. from watching you and you're fixed fully on those doors. Talk us to the outfit. We're going to start with a hat, that's the, <laughs> that's the important thing. Skater boy beanie and it's a free t-shirt that I got. <laughs> I'm going to meet my girlfriend at the airport. I've made so little effort. It's at the beginning of a complicated new relationship. I missed a word there, complicated. What's, what's complicated about this? She's American. <laughs> right? <laughs> That doesn't make it complicated just because of that. She lives in America. Ah, uh, long distance. Who are you waiting to come through this? Uh, I'm waiting for my girlfriend. Oh, uh, that explains it all. Where she be? Uh, well, she lives in America. So she's just coming over for a few weeks. Long distance love. Yeah. Long distance love. Long distance love, and you've, I think you confirmed it with a little yeah. If that makes you want to stop it and question me, we are in for an absolute <laughs> treat. I can't even start to express what happened. How did you come to speak to Well, we met this summer. I went over there this summer with a uh, few friends, and we, um, we were, I was soccer coaching. <laughs> ben, I know you. Mm -hmm. I know you're a massive football fan. Mm -hmm. Have been your entire life. Mm -hmm. Have never called it soccer. <laughs> Go over to America for one summer, meet the girl, and start calling it soccer. And then you realise you're on British TV. <laughs> yeah, so I say Scottball, and then I yeah. apologise to Kate Thornton. And you fall fast and hard for her. Can you say So you fell fast and hard for her. Didn't take, <laughs> didn't take long. How long were you out there for? I was out there for two months. <laughs> we weren't allowed to date. <laughs> <laughs> But I kissed her on the cheek outside of a Wendy's and got sent home for two weeks. <laughs> it's a beautiful oh. American love story. Did you treat her to a Wendy's? No, we didn't even go in. Hold on. That's the most surprising bit so far, that you didn't go into a fast food restaurant. <laughs> the rest of it, I can fully believe you haven't gone in. When did you last see her? I last saw her on the... Just to clarify, the date this was filmed was the 3rd of November. That's a lot of time. Oh, hi. Yeah. Have you said the L word? Yeah. I just kind of mouthed it. I just kind of mouthed it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you said the L word two months into the relationship? I know you're a romantic. So just imagine I'm this girl. We're outside Wendy's. How did it go? <laughs> Don't kiss me on the cheek. I'm sort of laying on some of the British charm. I've gone suddenly very royal. So I kissed her on the cheek and then as I was walking away. You look back over your shoulder. <laughs> I turned around and I went. This was three weeks in. I've got there. I've fallen in love with an American girl. I've told her I loved her. I've kissed her on the cheek and then I'm off camp for two weeks. She just kind of mouthed it. It's such a great line. I just kind of mouthed it. Ah. Now listen then. She said it back, so. Yeah. Is it possible you've ever said anyone you look like? Yeah. 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 Is that true? <laughs> no, it Is wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the fifth time I've said it. <laughs> I can't say no on national television. <laughs> I'm not. When I was younger, I just, I wore my heart on my sleeve. So she had this time free. So we just said, uh, why don't you come over for a few weeks? Did you only come over for a few weeks? In February, I'm moving to South Africa. <laughs> so, what the flip was I thinking? 
<laughs> so what you decided was USA to Britain is quite difficult to do long distance. What I'll do is I'll move to Africa instead. I want to believe that if we honour God as much as we can and they're faithful to each other, then you know, his, his plan will be the best. Genuinely proud of you, mate. mate. Opportunity on national TV to present the gospel. I'd have been nervous. I might have skirted the issue. Mm. To be honest, I did at the first one. When she says, oh, what were you doing in America? I said, I was just there with some friends. <laughs> and do you think that one day your government will become your wife? Before we hear the answer, do you think that one day this girlfriend who you've known for two months, <laughs> who lives on the other side of the world, who you're moving further away from, will end up being your wife? What do you think a, a sensible... <laughs> <laughs> Normal answer would have been it. You never know what the future holds, do you? It's going great now, maybe in the future. If I know you, <laughs> and I think I do, I can guess what this answer is going to be. And do you think that one day you'll come to the I hope so. I mean, it's 19 people saying that. At 19, people are saying, you know, no, there's no way. <laughs> I'm moving to Africa. And you've turned up to meet her in a beanie and a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you found your one? Yep. Do you think you found your one? Yep, definitely. Can't say no, you look like a villain. Thank you very much. It's all now, I really hope you make this one. Okay, that's the end of the interview. We now get a montage of the arrival. Yes! Is that her? Yeah. No reaction. Hasn't spotted it yet. Little groups of the camera. There's the hug. The whole time I'm hugging her and going, Don't worry about the cameras, I'll explain <laughs> everything in the car. <laughs> After she came out, I was sobbing. I was so happy to see her. I hugged her, I explained to her everything. We're walking off. The producer comes along, no. taps me on the shoulder. Says, I'm so sorry guys, we didn't get any of it because <laughs> someone was in the way. Says, can you do the whole thing again? Quite a long hug. Well, I hadn't seen her in a while. I mean, you saw her about two minutes before. before no, yeah, that's true. <laughs> there you go. I mean. And then it ends. That the video or the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> right, Steve, what should the young people do? Uh, oh, <laughs> I thought you were asking for words of advice from Steve there. Oh, yeah, go for it. Guard your heart. Yeah. Because that, that was what it Definitely was, Definitely guard your heart. Feelings are fleeting, they go up and down. If you yeah. if you just go on your on your heart and your emotions and your feelings, then, uh, yeah, then you'll go on a, a bit of a roller coaster. We are exactly polar opposites. We are, on the yeah. So it's somewhere in the middle, it's probably ideal. Yeah. <laughs> I wear my heart on my sleeve, and you locked your heart away in Pandora's box. There's guarded heart, and then there's in a sealed box. <laughs> guarded by a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> like in Shrek. <laughs> yeah. Why should they subscribe, Steve? Uh, exceptional content. Yeah. Probably going to be more of Steve. And the third um, reason is. They need a little boost sometimes. <laughs> See you soon. That. Ah was very enjoyable.